Indianapolis will host one of the largest conventions in city history this weekend when the National Rifle Association comes to town. The NRA expects more than 70,000 people for a weekend of events that includes displays by gun makers, speeches by gun rights activists, and music by well-known bands. But as our City Beat reporter Mary Mills tells us tonight, not everyone coming is a fan of the group. The city worked hard to get the NRA here. Hotels are booked, restaurants will be packed. The convention is expected to boost the local economy by $55 million, but not everyone welcomes the group. It's hard to miss the banners and signs outside the convention center. The NRA is here with nine acres of guns and gear. I know our members are excited to be coming here and the organization itself. We're all here busy getting things set up. It's 117 from the front. They're setting up for a trade show, meetings and seminars here, along with a stand and fight rally and concert at Lucas Oil Stadium. For the gun rights group, it's more than a convention. It's a call to action from the NRA leadership who will address members Saturday. And what they're going to do is kind of give us a lay of the land where we stand for the 2014 elections. They're going to be speaking to members about what kind of legislation we're going to support and giving them an idea of what needs to be done to protect our Second Amendment rights. We have people coming from all over the country, California, Texas, New York. Nikki McNally is with Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense. That's a group pushing for things like stronger background checks. McNally says at least 100 moms and 20 survivors of gun violence will also be downtown this weekend to get their message across. Mortensen says the NRA expects and welcomes all voices. There will be a special area for anyone who wants to demonstrate against the Second Amendment. We are not anti-Second Amendment and we have no issue with the general membership of the NRA. We want to see common sense you know, common ground, middle of the road stuff like background checks that we know save lives. There's a banquet here tomorrow night, but things really kick off with a ribbon cutting on Friday morning. There's a whole weekend's worth of events, including a stand and fight rally and concert at Lucas Oil Stadium. On the City Beat, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you.